Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video I'm going to test the range of the internal multi-protocol radio transmission module of the RadioMaster TX12 and the TX16S and the Jumper T-Lite and the multi-protocol module of the TBS Tango 2. Since it's going to be practically impossible for me to test each supported protocol, I decided to test FRS Sky D16, which is probably one of the most popular options, and the radio receiver that I used in this test is the RadioMaster R161. Just like on my previous range test, where I compared the RadioMaster TX16S and the Jumper T18, the radio receiver was mounted inside this box and connected directly to a flight controller and a DVR that helped me to record the RSSI, which I got directly from the RSSI output of the radio receiver. In order to perform the range test, I mounted the box on my Mavic Air 2, which I set to 5.8 GHz frequency, so it's not going to cause any interference, and I also frequency tuned each radio transmitter before conducting the test with the same radio receiver that I used. Then in turn, during the test, I put the radio transmitter in the same spot and made sure that the antenna is at the same position, and then I conducted the test using the Mavic Air 2, which was carrying the radio receiver. As for the test results, which I'm just about to show you, I think that the first place belongs to the RadioMaster TX16S and the TX12, the Jumper T-Lite finished second, and the multi-protocol model of the TBS Tango 2 performed the worst according to this test out of the models that I tested, and I think that it is more suitable for flying micro quadcopters in a relatively close range. Now by the way, as for output power using the RadioMaster TX12, on FRSky D16 you can expect about 180 milliwatts, using the Jumper T-Lite about 160 milliwatts, and on the Tango 2 multi-protocol model about 130 milliwatts. Now finally I'm going to show you the range test, which might not be ideal, but I still think that can give us a pretty good indication of the performance of the internal multi-protocol radio transmission model. And by the way, next time I'm going to try to improve it because as you can see, the video is not 100% synced. So I'm going to try to make it better on the next range test. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye. RF signal critical. RF signal low. Telemetry lost. RF, RF signal, signal critical. Low. RF signal low. Telemetry low. Critical. RF signal critical, telemetry recovered. RF signal critical, telemetry recovered. RF signal critical. RF signal critical. RF signal critical. RF signal low. Telemetry recovered. RF signal low. RF signal critical. 
RF signal burned. Telemetry recovered. RF signal burned. Telemetry not. signal burned. Telemetry recovered. RF signal burned.